edible plants is back in stock. <gasps> rise, sister, rise. This is definitely one of my favourite books. Right, The Wisdom Wheel is new in. It's by Albert, Alberto, whatever. Oh, I'm still knackered, so I'm probably not going to make much sense today, but I'm going to do it anyway. So he's the one that did the um, um, Colette Baron Reads Shaman deck. So I think he's done quite a few decks with the Dream one as well. Power Purpose Practice is with Astrology, Numerology and Tarot by Kerry Ward. She's done some um, some tarot decks. Do I have any? I don't know if I have any. I hope I do. Um, so this is new in stock. Big Witchy Energy is new in stock. It's quite a nice little chunky book. 360 Days of Divine Feminine Wisdom. I'm not sure if I showed this on the last one, but it just has a little um, paragraph for each day. So that's a nice way to start your day. Crystal Shamanism is new in stock. This is by Rachel Charman. She's um, done many, many crystal decks, and this is such a beautiful book. I highly recommend it. Another new one is the Gardener's Planner and Logbook, a five-year record and tracker of your garden. So I think I've said this on the last one that I'm really getting into my garden. I love the garden, so I'm going to try and just add some more gardening books. Tea leaf reading, reading tea leaves. This is new in. I haven't even looked at it. So... I'm sure, oh yeah, it tells you all the shapes and what they mean. That would be excellent. I love reading tea. A Time for Grace is a new new book in as well by the beautiful Carolyn Mice, Me, Miss, 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 blah, 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 blah. Forage, wild plants to gather, cook and eat is back in stock. It's a nice big chunky book. Create Your Life is also back in stock. This is beautiful. If you've um, this chick Tamara, she um, she's got such an amazing following online. I think she's still there. <laughs> I haven't been. I have um, since COVID. I'm not really a social media person too much anymore. So um, she just had beautiful. She did heaps of um, classes and oh, gorgeous lady. She's got. Um, I think it's arthritis in her fingers, so she can't move very well. So um, it's beautiful what she does. Right, You're the Medicine is back in stock. I really want to read that one. I might see if it's on audio book too, so that I can. Let us to the Star Seeds back in stock. The Mindful Gardener. So this is um, a journal that I thought I'd get in to just have a look. So it's just blank pages and quotes now the witches journal gardening journal it will be in the next order as well right human design the revolutionary revolution revolutionary oh god system <laughs> that shows you who you came here to be so what you do is you go to the website and you fill in the information and then it tells you what sort of type of person that you are um, and then um, then you go and read all the bits about it. It's sort of like Gene Keys and astrology, but it's a little bit different. It's freaking awesome. That's new in. Self-love potions is back in stock. The in-focus shamanism personal guide is new in. It's a nice big poster at the back that has... Um, the Power Animals, which is quite cool. The Dream, In Focus Dream is new in as well. So that has a poster with what you dream about. I had a freaky dream about um, walking through all these beautiful fish in a beautiful sea. And they all had massive hooks coming out of their mouth. And I had to go and take them all out. I think, do I have a couple of these? I might only have one now. Um... I will get one more lot of the Lunar Seasonal Diaries in. So if you want one, don't want to miss out, let me know and I'll, I'll make sure that I order one in for you. 
your tarot toolkit simple activities for your daily practice so um i called into my wholesaler on the way home last week and i had a little look at this book and i went oh i need to have that it's got heaps of cool daily activities for your tarot so that's new in and the last new book as well it's a little kit a guide to moon magic which includes a 61 page magical guide 32 page guided journal and 25 mystical spell cards in a moonstone hello evie you come to join us today we got two kittens in the weekend for the kids for christmas and i think Ebby might be a bit put off. Hey darling, we got all this stuff all over you. Hey, okay. under the house. Okay, getting back to it. The Wild Sacred Feminine deck is new in. So these people made, I think it's called the Mother's Oracle. I have it at home. Oh, Ebby. <laughs> Come on, I forget darling, good girl. And the pictures are very similar. I've worked with this deck. When was it a couple of weeks? Well, it was just the week before I went to Bali. And I loved it. It was gorgeous. Such beautiful, um, beautiful energy. Hey, get out of there. You two, stop fighting. Oh, man, Evie having a go. Hey, get out of it. Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> right so there's it's beautiful beautiful written beautifully made it's such a gorgeous deck highly recommended that one tarot made it easy is back in stock so this is the Llewellyn um good deck for starting out because nice clean clear crisp cards nice and bright and the book is amazing. So you get. I really like the way that this is the way I teach tarot. So um, this, I think, is it this book. Yeah, so we talk about the twos and the threes and the fours together. And if you want to learn tarot and come to my course, 17th of February is my next one. So book in. I have my What's Up? 2024 workshop on Sunday which is all sold out so that's going to be fun I'm looking forward to that the star see the oracles back in stock oh. 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 right so oh, oh my goodness I'm getting lots of little messages from this deck today <laughs> <laughs> okay stop it it's gonna be one of those days I feel very uh open at the moment probably because I'm a bit tired maybe I'm not sure right that's a beautiful deck the star seed oracle medicine heart oracles back in stock this is freaking cool they've done such a gorgeous gorgeous job Alana Fairchild and who's the artist why didn't they put it on the Sophie Wilkins, I think. Sophie, Sophie Wilkins, yeah. It's very feminine shamanism. Like, I just got girl power from this when I used the stick. Oh, the images are just stunning. What a beautiful, beautiful artist. You can feel her passion and her love for what she does, for sure. Mm -mm. It's funny because I was using a deck the other day and I read in the thing, in the guidebook, that the person was in bed, sick, feeling sorry for themselves and created a deck. And I was like, no wonder I couldn't connect with it. It just didn't feel right. The energy wasn't me. So I just popped that one to the side and went, yeah, no, that's not a deck for me. I'm more about the divine feminine. That's my cup of tea. Right, so you get this beautiful deck. 
and massive book massive book there's so much stuff in it Alana Fairchild she really knows how to write Ethereal Visions is back in stock love this deck gorgeous oh look at that so while we were on holiday we had this mean as gecko um that hung out with us there were lots of little baby ones but then on the last two nights he came out and was just hanging out with us and I was lying in bed and all I heard was gecko gecko and I went oh my god that's why they're called geckos <laughs> but on the first night oh he was horrible he just screeched all night and I was like oh no is this what my holiday is going to be like listening to screechy noises every day but it wasn't it was just that first night I think because you're so tired and over the plane flight and then just unwinding from everyday life holidays are amazing aren't they you get to just rest and take a deep breath and swim and eat and walk and drink and make new friends it's awesome so this one this one has been like reprint forever so I haven't had it for months and months and months, and it's finally back. So I got quite a good little stack of them here. Such a beautiful deck. Beautiful messages. If you haven't got it, highly recommend it. Got some little ones back in stock. Forest Faze, always a good fave. The Isaac Isis Oracles back in stock. So cool. My friend came in stage um, Friday and Saturday night. And we like we're like she went to the second a second hand shop on her way down and um she found a statue, an Egyptian statue, and she bought it here and she was like, Right, let's book in 2025 Egypt and we were, I was like, Fuck yes. <laughs> so we're going to Egypt in 2025. We're gonna go and do a um intrepid journey i did one around vietnam and they're excellent they're so much fun so we were like we were because i had all of my cards on the table because i just didn't get to them so she grabbed them she was like right so we've been using these all weekend and it's like oh so good anyway just gonna wrap it today aren't i <gasps> sacred horse oracles back in stock this is another beautiful stunning deck I wouldn't even, I probably wouldn't even go for the guidebook of these because these images just give you so much. I think there's more vertical than horizontal cards in this deck. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm. Right. Oh, it's getting hot. It must be about to rain. So, get oh look, beautiful coloured images in there. I haven't even opened this before. Lots of things in there. Oh, I need to put this on my list of decks to get into next. Had so many new decks and oh, I haven't even opened them all. <laughs> Right, blue oracle cards are back in stock. I use these in the Woo Woo Connection group a couple of weeks ago and they're gorgeous. They're so beautiful. They're the first AI deck. I'm not sure if I'm keen to get more AI decks because I think they're going to just have the same sort of aesthetic to them, but we'll see. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. I kept pulling this one all the time when I was with the stick. Okay, so you get a nice guidebook as well. He doesn't talk too much stuff, so it's nice and easy. And there's quotes and beautiful things. Great deck. <coughs> right, Sacred Rebels is back in stock. This is definitely one of my favorite Alana Fairchild decks. I am a little bit of a rebel. Oh, 
we were watching Mr. Robot last night. We've, we watched it ages ago and then Sean was re-watching it. But I never watched the last season. So he was on to the last three or four episodes. So I was like, I'll, I'll watch them with you. What a crazy, crazy ending. Like, totally just shows you schizophrenia. Anyway, has anyone else watch Mr. Robot? What did you think? It was like, whoa, poor dude. All the pain that he's gone through in his life just made him close off to who he really was. It was quite sad, actually. Beautiful book, really inspiring and motivating and help you go and kick ass that book. <laughs> Whispers of Lord Ganesha. Ah. Oh. In Bali, Ganesh is everywhere. Like, even we had a little altar at the top of our pool. They did beautiful offerings every day. It was so nice. They had a little, um, like, a little bamboo plate with flowers, and they'd burn incense and had offerings of lollies, and I saw tobacco rolled up in some of them. It was just gorgeous. I'm... I don't think we do enough offerings in our thing. Well, I don't do enough offerings, so I need to start adding that to my practice as well. Goddess Within Oracle is new in. I haven't even sat down with these. I've just opened them up, so they're probably still in alphabetical order. Um, Mike bought them to show me a couple of months ago, and I was just like, oh. The images are just beautiful. Baba Yaga. Mm -mm. Bridget. Serwin. Cleopatra. Mm. Oh, there's such good, strong women in here. Aren't they gorgeous? Anyway. I so need to put this one maybe next week in my next week file. <laughs> right, the book. What's the book look like? Beautiful, beautiful images. Oh yeah, so you get quite a lot of information there. Oh, that looks good. Looks good. Right, the Lightworkers Oracle 1111 edition. I haven't even opened it, so I can't even show you what it looks like. But um, I've been working with my just my normal Lightworkers Oracle this year, and I just couldn't get enough of it. I have never connected with this deck until this year. It was like just calling my name. So I feel maybe a lot of other people might be attracted to that one as well right which is back in stock whoopsie <laughs> I normally take my phone cover off my phone I haven't this time these are gorgeous so this was her first deck I think that she did and went on kickstarter and that's where US Games picked her up. And then they've been pumping them out. And I see that there's a gorgeous one. I can't wait. Well, there's two. I think one's called the Flightless Bird or something like that. And another one's like a tree oracle with the Stephanie lady who did um, the Shadowscape Tarot. Which I can't wait because... I would love, I'd love to have that deck in here, but the cards are too small. You can't see the images. It just frustrates me, so I don't sell it. But it is a beautiful deck. So, yeah. Anyway, this one's back in. It's got lots of lovely poetry and messages that go with all the cards. I've been writing poetry. I freaking, I'm, I've never been a poet. I don't know, something opened up inside me while I was away. <laughs> and I've been pumping out the poems. Anyway, it's been fun. The Enchanted Forex. So I got this in and then this is the only deck I have left. So I haven't even got one to open now. So, um, oh, look, there's not even, 
any cards on the back. This is gorgeous, gorgeous deck from that already thing. So I have a feeling that it might be quite, quite popular. Lightseers, tarot's back in stock. I took this one away with me um, to Bali and it was a bit slippery at first, all the little cards, but um, after a good couple of turns, it's been really neat. I've enjoyed working with my mini light seers. Universal weight decks back in stock. The Wandering Star is back in stock. This one I think I show every time. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lots of keywords on them, so they're great for starter, starter people, beginners. Right, the Seesaw Journey Oracles back in stock. They have a couple of different designs on the back and then lots of beautiful messages. Such a nice deck. If you like me and love the sea. Oh, I wonder. Mm -hmm. And you get a little, so there's the earth one as well. And I see there's a sky one. I haven't got that one yet because there's been so many new decks. I was like, I'll get that one later. <laughs> Another new one is the Unfolding Path Tarot. So I opened this one today and I've started using it. Um, for my weekly tarot, my daily tarot cards and it's gorgeous, it's got so much energy in it there's lots of diversity um, easy to read like good expressions look at her, isn't she happy, happy chappy gorgeous I, um, this, I have a feeling this one's going to be quite popular Right, moving on, work your lights back in stock. This is Rebecca Campbell. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, okay, and Shadow and Light Oracles back in stock. Mm. Oh, totally been thinking about this lately <laughs> oh what do they say without pain there's no growth that just I know it like pisses people off when you say that but um yeah this is a cool deck mm. boundaries and respect so obviously they have the light and the shadow aspect of everything because duality is what we're here to learn so this um, deck is very appropriate for right now I think one of my beautiful little witchy sisters has got it and she loves it they um she made all the girls pull one for our Scorpio is it the full moon Ritual, <coughs> a couple, oh no, New Moon, Scorpio New Moon, and they all got great messages. Right, the Chinese Five Elements, I haven't even opened this one either yet, but I know that it looks so cool because it has all the, the, um, all the animals and then the wood, wood fire, you know, for all the different Chinese, um, five elements so that looks like a really interesting day and I'm quite looking forward to opening that one but I did open the Divine Masters Oracle Guidebook by Kyle Gray and I'm using that in the We Were Connections group this week I pulled Mother Mary today and she talks about how staunch the um that we have to be Kalima. Mm -mm -mm. So I really like how it's got two people on them. Like you don't get many cards that have got like Lakshmi and Ganesh. Ganesh. The Lemurians, Isis. So this has got like um, <coughs> a good mix of the 
feminine and the masculine and out of this world and in this world like um guru what's his name be quite interesting actually to go through his um, angel prayer I think it was and see who he's put in that deck but um, the guidebook's great I've um, I enjoyed what I read today from Mother Mary she was um, it was a beautiful beautiful beautifully written so I think that it's going to be quite a nice little deck to work with um, there are more of the angel Angels and Ancestors Pocket Oracle in stock. Oh, this is my favourite Kyle Grey deck. Just the art and the colours are so beautiful, vibrant, and anyway, that's my taste. And it's got so much in there, like, it's, yeah, very full, full deck. Cosmic Tarot is back in stock, this beautiful little alien Huh, that's funny. The hermit kept on flying off through the week, the weekend, but it's not there anymore. Anyway, it's a fun deck. It's a crazy little deck, and I think you'll enjoy it if you get it. This is one of my favorite, the Druid Craft Tarot deck. <clears throat> so I used to have the the set. But my wholesaler only had the little pack, which doesn't matter because this is the one that I learned from and the guidebook that comes with it is really amazing. This is definitely one of my favourite tarot decks. You get heaps of information, like enough information to read tarot and learn tarot from. So highly recommend the Druid Craft Tarot deck. Awesome deck. The Sweet Forager's Tarot, I haven't even opened this one yet either, it's um, it's a cute deck. If you go onto the website you can have a look at the video and see what it looks like. And the Magical Spirit Oracle, I haven't opened this one either, it was all feeling a little bit behind because of the jet lag but I'll get there. Um, what does it say about this one? Stop under underestimating your own magic and deepen your connection with spirit. Let these oracle cards take you to, on a voyage of self-discovery, a sacred journey of witches, talking trees, creative archetypes, and mysterious portals. Each card shares practical wisdom, ritual, and manifestation practices to empower you and apply your own life as well as potent affirmation spells to cast. It's okay to forget and then to remember over and over again. Beautiful. Oh, that sounds awesome. Okay, but I have opened the Wisdom of the Elder Oracle and I started playing with this one today. And I got this one, the Dream Catcher. Um, and this... This one keeps popping up for me as well, the Spirit Plate Offering, which is something that I'm thinking about a lot at the moment, so I'm not surprised. And the Cedar Sacred Medicine, I haven't read this one yet, but um, we have a beautiful cedar tree right in our property when you first drive in, into, in, into our property. And I just love, love it. So I'm quite looking forward to reading these, these cards because they're gorgeous. They look really beautiful. They've got awesome keywords and oh, I just think I'm going to really enjoy these, these cards from what I've seen just today. Right, so there's not too much in there but I'm sure it's awesome. What's this one? Mm, gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Name one thing right now. <laughs> and the last one that I have to share with you is the Oracle of the Universe, Divine Guidance from the Cosmos, Stacey DeMarco. These are beautiful. I haven't spent any time with them, but this the um, 
the time that I've just flicked through them, I was like, oh, yeah, they're really cool. I like Stacey DeMarco's work. She's a staunch, staunch woman. I love it. Mm, next year we're going into a strength year. Actually, I'm trying to figure out what my power word for the year is going to be. It might be freedom. Freedom might be a good one. Oh, hello. Julie was hanging out with these cards. I think she really enjoyed them as well. Right, so, oops, hang on. Mm, you could use them on your altar as well, which would be quite nice. Right, and you get a book, which I'm sure has got lots of information in there. Words of power. Mm, I might put them in my studio for the weekend for for the workshop. I think this might be a nice deck to to have on offer for people. We'll be doing um, a 12 years, a 12 year, 12 month spread and looking at the year that's gone past and what we want to bring into the next year and all sorts of amazing things. I love this workshop. It's going to be fun. Right. I better tidy up my table and um, make sure everything's on the website and then get ready for the workshop. So there's lots of orders coming in for Christmas. Um, get in quick. If you're like me, my husband likes to buy me electronic goodies, and I'm like, I've got enough now. So um, I like buy my own, and I give it to him to wrap for me now. <laughs> beautiful. Much better. Anyway, hope you have a beautiful day. Much love. Thank you for everyone who was happy to wait for their um, orders while I was away for the week. Um, and, yeah, hopefully I'll catch up with you all guys before the end of the year. Okay, see you.